guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. I just wanted to show you the soundproof barrier I have in my room. So my door is padded. So I have these, you know, things that you carry drinks around with. Um, and then I have it in each of the little cavities I have stuffed with um, foam. And so I have the same thing happening on this wall, except all around I have this three inch foam all the way around so I just took off some of the paneling so that you guys can see so yeah I mean um, if you guys have any suggestions as to how I can you know make this a little bit better and then behind the door I have these kind of like angled foam deflectors I guess so if you close the door The air conditioning sound goes away, but my son's room is right next door, and so he can be a little loud with his music. And you're hearing the birds outside. They're really loud today. My my daughter just built a little tree house in there. It's so cute, and you can kind of see there's a tree blooming white flowers. Yeah, so. Any ideas would be great. All right, cheers. Hi guys, I also just wanted to show you something really cool about my website that I just added. Um, so there's a remote viewing area. So if you click on this tab, it'll take you to this window. Um, so if you know anything about remote viewing, um, basically it's an ability to uh, see things remotely, right? So um, what you want to do is empty your mind, um, try and sit for about five minutes in, still, in stillness. Um, if any thoughts come into your mind, just dismiss them and let them go. If you get any vivid images that pop into your mind, let those images go as well. So um, when you're ready, then um, basically you click this button below, which is Target and it'll take you to an, another window and so here I have all the targets and behind each of these letters is an image so I mean if you want you can start with the first one over here um, so what you want to do is you know copy down uh, the letters and then sit with that for a little while what what feelings come to mind what vibrations do you get? Do you see or taste, a, you know, anything? And so after another five minutes, um, then you start to draw whatever, you know, sensations come to mind. So if you see a flash of silver, like a, you know, um, kind of like, let's say a triangle silver color, um, you go ahead and draw that, okay? So if, you know, vivid images come into your mind, those are not um, what you want, okay? What you want is a, a sensation or a hint. And so, yeah, um, and when you're ready, all you do is scroll over the letter and it will um, show the image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show the first one. Oh, wow, okay, so that's kind of crazy what I saw was a flash of silver, right? And so I didn't know it was a wing, but I, I saw that image in my mind. So there you go. Yes, I did choose all of these. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of biased to it, but I mean, I, I, I made this part of the website about two weeks ago. So I honestly, I, I don't remember anything. Um, so if you go under remote viewing again, there's a shapes uh, test, a color test, and an element test. 
Um, <clears throat> so basically, you just want to guess, <clears throat> sorry, what is behind, whoa, uh, what is behind these question marks? Okay, so it could be any one of these images, right? So you, you got the idea there. Um, that was a diamond. Okay, and so the same goes for colors and for elements. So yeah, test your remote viewing ability and um, I think I might put a little comment section um, below on the main page if you wanted to comment. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, cheers. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. Um, let me see here. I think we'll use the John Holland deck. I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a reading for the 23rd to the 30th. Uh, sorry I'm not un not able to get these readings out to you a little bit earlier. I've been swamped um, at work. I've taken on extra shifts. Um, a lot of ha holidays happening recently. So... Um, yeah, so I'm doing my best to stay on track, uh, so just bear with me. Plus, this month has been absolutely insane. It's a lot of intense things happening. Um, I just lost my kitty cat, um, who is 23 years old, uh, a couple days ago, so a little sad about that. But we were kind of expecting that she was going to pass pretty soon. Okay, so that was a John Holland Psychic Tarot. Uh, this is a John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Okay, and... I think I'll just use my cards for the Union Energy. I hope you're able to see these okay. Oh, I'm a little off. I'll have to adjust the camera. Let me just finish pulling the cards. Still getting used to my new setup. And I think I'll just use the bottom of the deck with this one. All right. So let me just adjust the camera. That'll have to do. Okay, so I might do some clarifiers. So let me just shuffle this really quick. And I absolutely love your comments, you guys. You just make me feel so loved and accepted. And you guys are rock. Okay. So, starting with the past position for the feminine. Five of swords, conflict, defeat. So, you can see the image. There's a person that's kind of struggling, right? They've been through a battle of some kind. And it's over now. And so, um, you know, this person may have lost the battle. Um, but it was best that they that he walked away right um, winning at all costs isn't worth it so the feminine um, you know is not engaging in conflict she she feels you know negative energy being directed at her but I you know it's coming in the past so I feel that she's overcoming this Okay, so what's going on with the masculine? The Nine of Wands, rest and reconsider. So immediately I can see the two energies both have their backs turned away. The masculine is in contemplation. He's exhausted. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. So again, a sense that both have been through a battle. Um, they're both licking their wounds. Um... The masculine feels like giving up, but he has the strength to carry on, so he's still on a journey, um, but he's just taking a moment, okay? Whereas the feminine has given up and walked away, and it could be possibly, 
you know, from union. All right, present position for the feminine. Eight of pentacles, positive movement forward. Nice. So she's done her journey. She's now on a boat. It's almost like this is a pier, right? Um, she is feeling positive. The sun is out. Um, I can see this seagull flying in the distance. And so there's a lot of freedom, feeling uplifted. So usually this card means that you've done a lot of work. You've made a lot of progress. There's still more work to do, but the finish line is so close. Okay, so there's going to be rewards coming to you. And because of that notion, it propels you forward. So that's beautiful to see in the present for the feminine. Uh, do I have these in the right position? Oh, I should just leave well enough alone. Okay, so masculine present position, balance. So this would be the temperance card. Um, and so to me, I see the twins uh, coming into union, being coming one soul. Uh, so this usually indicates balance in all areas of your life, but it's also the ultimate union card for twin flames. So the masculine feels balanced. He's feeling his his feminine in the 5D. Um, yeah, I see a lot of harmony in all areas of his life at the moment. So he's overcome and he's was able to achieve the sense of balance after such a difficult um, journey. Okay, near future for the feminine, disconnect and boredom. Again, facing away from the masculine uh, so this is somebody who is disconnected emotionally. They are focused on negative. So, yeah, um, it's unusual to see that after the Eight of Pentacles. We got this movement forward. But the journey seems to be alone, by, by yourself, right? So, you know, if you look to the past, the Five of Swords, there was a battle that took place and I feel that now that she's making some headway and progress in her life she doesn't want to be um, emotionally drawn in right so she is disconnecting or maybe she feels that the relationship has gone stagnant there's no movement so I'm gonna pull one clarifier for that card seven of swords she can't trust uh, so this is um, negative thoughts, feeling like someone's going to betray you, feeling like somebody's stabbing you in the back. So the near future, we've got an escalation of this five to seven and complete disconnect emotionally. Okay, so the masculine near future. Wow, the four of wands joy and stability so this is um the again another union card for twin flames right so it's the 11 11 card confirmation of a twin flame connection so we can see the union happening here in the present in the 5d now this card is union um in the 5d and 3d so it's a commitment a promise um you know it's like this new beginning but yet you um you know you feel completed but yet you have your whole life spread out before you so that's beautiful to see joy and stability after feeling balanced okay so let's leave the final outcome we'll move to the union energy and what's the feminine bringing in wow ace of cups um okay so the Ace of Cups is somebody who is open to love, right? They've let go of the past. They've moved on. We don't see that, you know, we see her moving on, but we see her disconnecting. We see her abandoning almost, not involving herself. So that's somebody who's not open. So I'm going to pull one clarifier. Okay, so the Seven of Fire um, turned up 
in reverse. I usually don't read reversals, but if one happens to pop up, then, you know, it was meant to be. So the Seven of Wands is somebody who has confidence um, to stand up, to speak out, to, you know, hold their ground. So this is a very defensive pose. So in reverse, it's saying that she isn't saying what she needs to say, that she feels overpowered by the masculine. She feels, you know, that she isn't making headway. So that makes sense with the rest of the cards. So that coupled with the Ace of Cups, she wants a new beginning. There's a hint that she would like there to be, you know, a connection made, um, you know, at the heart. She wants to feel true love, but she, um, she feels like she's fighting a losing battle. So the losing battle keeps popping up over and over again on her side. So what is masculine bringing in? Nine of Cups. Happily ever, well, this is actually a wish fulfilled. So in terms of the, the connection, he feels like his wishes and dreams are coming true. He feels emotionally fulfilled. And yeah, you can see that on his side. <laughs> so uh, we got two nines here, which is nearing the completion. So um, there's this monumental feeling of completion, uh, especially with the temperance, especially with the four of wands and the two nines. So... Um, he really feels like he's overcome, that he's completed major cycles in his life, and he's ready for his, he's ready for some form of con commitment. Okay, so at the foundation, shared energy, the universe card. Okay, so the universe card is, um, you know, going through all the stages of awakening, um, getting acknowledgement from the universe that you've completed these stages, so it's a major life cycle ending. So this could be up to 20 years for it to complete. So it is a shared energy between both aspects. So we can definitely feel that energy on the masculine side. On the feminine side, I just, I don't feel this is her card. I feel, you know, she's done. She, she's moving on in a different direction, whereas the masculine is moving towards her, you know, feeling a bond, feeling connected, feeling like the universe is opening up to him, um, feeling like his wishes and dreams are coming to very opposite energy. Okay, you know what, I forgot to put the crowning energy out, so I'm just going to pull one more card from the bottom of the deck over here. Okay, so I guess I can look at it. Wow, Ace of wands another ace two aces when it comes to the union so this is something that they both want they want the go light they want go time they want illumination they want a new start that is spiritually aligned so um this is what they're both working towards is this new beginning or they both desire it so it's at the heart space, king of swords. So this could be an air sign, but this is um, mental clarity, decision made. This is also someone who is communicator. So they have something very important to say, very truthful, honest. Now, the king of swords has no emotional connection. Um, he is devoid of emotions so that he can make, you know, impartial decision, decisions, right? So um, he's also very authoritative. So this is a really hard energy to see at the heart space. But, you know, I feel that sense of coldness cut off coming, again, from the feminine side, not so much the masculine this week. Final outcome for the feminine, wow, spiritual union. I'm going to say wow, wow, wow a thousand times because that's what I do. So spiritual union, recognizing your twin flame, right? So the heart um, is activated, which activates higher levels of consciousness. So as the final outcome, the feminine is going to feel this true love connection. Um, and it could just be in the spiritual 5D realm or it could be you know, in the 3D.
but it's more of an emotional connection. Okay, final outcome for the masculine is the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. So this is somebody being open in the 3D, giving of themselves. Uh, they have an abundance. They want to share. You know, they want to look after people. They want to care uh, for others' needs. So this is somebody who's open in the 3D reality. So as a final outcome, the masculine may be offering the feminine something, you know, you know, share their life with each other in the 3D reality. This is the cohabitation card. Um, this is also the reciprocation card as well. So he wants to take it one step further. Um, yeah, and come together in the 3D. So the overall energy card is the Three of Pentacles. So this is a firm foundation, groundedness, um, feeling successful, like a, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor in the 3D reality. Uh, this is somebody who is talented. They're using their creative talents and tools in order to generate uh, abundance in their lives. So as an overall energy, there's this solid foundation here, and it's not going away. I think this was... Um, a theme of last week's reading or even the week before that you know it always comes back to this sense of feeling you know at the very basic level you feel this connection is grounded that it's not going anywhere okay so we got that solid foundation to build a tr you know um, a long-term relationship on all right, so I think we've overdone the myths and mermaids. Um, let's pick from Call It Baron Reed. So this will be the final message from the universe. Final messages do you have for May the 23rd until the 30th? The masculine first and the feminine and just one minute actually let me flip those around first and then oh this one's in reverse okay just one moment okay sorry about that all right so the six of wands in reverse for the feminine again I don't really read reversals so normally this means you're the rock star you feel like you're you're making positive headway um, in reverse, you know, there's this sinking feeling. Here we have a ship attached to a balloon, right? So um, a lot of hot air balloons surrounding it. So it's feeling uplifted, feeling like you are uh, in control of the ship. Um, you know, people are encouraging you as well. This is uh, a, vi a vibe tribe kind of energy. So reverse. Now, I don't think they have reversal um, descriptions in the book, but let me just have a quick look here, see what it says. Okay, so it says upright. Um, okay, so stepping into the limelight, being an enlightened influencer. Um, I generously model my transformation so that others might be inspired. I put my light atop a hill so it can shine forth, helping others to find their way. I remain aware of shadows and people who have trouble basking in the warm light of higher awareness. I bless them, but do not dim my own beacon. It's a time to renew my trust that I am contributing to a higher good of all in my own unique way. Okay, so reverse. So stepping into the limelight. So not stepping into the limelight. Feeling, you know, I definitely feel that seven of wands again uh, in the four of, of cups, the five of swords. Yeah, and this sense of withdrawing, right? Focusing on the darkness rather than on the sun that's behind him. Here there's this rainbow of colors that are touching his foot, but he can't even see that. He's so focused on the, the negative. So I think in the near future is an awareness of this negative thought process that seems to be um, creeping in. I feel that you guys maybe not even be aware of it. 
right? You feel like you're making headway, but there's this kind of gnawing, um, mistrusting energy. So reverse. So we want to turn that upright. We want to um, be a positive influence on other people. We want to draw other people out of the darkness, use our gifts, our talents. Um, yeah. Okay, so the Masson had the Three of Swords. So normally the Three of Swords is a broken heart. Oh, wow, and I opened right to the page. Okay. Silver lining, natural departures. Rejection is God's protection. A third party helps me to see the truth of this situation. What is truly mine can never be withheld from me. Rejection in spirit is spirit's protection. It's in the best interest to let go and allow for something better to take place. It is my highest good to see the truth, regardless of my temporary discomfort. This too shall pass. Okay, so the message from the universe is to move on, let go um, of any lingering pain uh, that you might be holding on to. And I really don't see any hint of that at all. Maybe this Nine of Wands in the past... Um, but, you know, maybe it's a feeling of, I'm afraid that maybe I'm going to hurt her again. You know, because there's this consideration, there's this, you know, analyzing the future. Where have made mistakes in the past? Do I have enough energy to continue on? Um, but what I feel very strongly for him, from him is love, balance, commitment, and openness. For sure. Okay, so don't be afraid to give your heart, to, to offer your heart to somebody for fear of being hurt. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, cheers. Welcome back. This is the extended version of the Twin Flame reading. So let me just move these back. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling three clarifiers per position, so let me just give you a little shuffle. Um, yeah, I think I'll pull out the other deck as well. So since I've already used these cards mostly on this side of the reading, I'll leave these for the feminine. And let me just pull out my old deck. You always get really super sticky. If I leave them too long. Ooh. Now, I know a couple of people have asked me if they could purchase this deck. So this is the original. These are all the hand-painted cards. Um, I've thought about selling them, but I, I think at this point they're kind of priceless. So you can't really put a price on them since they are each individual paintings. And, um, and I think I need to hold on to them for copyright purposes, like just in case somebody says that I, you know, that I'm stealing an image or whatever, uh, then I can prove that it's not copyright because it is a painting. It's not me just taking the picture and manipulating it in some way. This is actual art. It's my interpretation um, of the images. Okay, so I'm running out of space here. Where can I put this? Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, I almost thought the thing was going to fall on me. Alright, so, I'm able to see these, okay? Alright, so, let's begin with the, you know what, let's go over here to the masculine side. Okay, so let's pull three cards, so the past, present, and future. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups in the past position, that's celebrating, union, coming together, feeling this ignition. So this is also the Vibe Tribe energy as well. So we got this loving energy coming from the distant past, and that's what's fueling this, this deep desire and love um, in, the, in the future. Now, the Four of Pentacles is somebody who's closed off, right? So... I, I feel that there was this time of closure. Um, you know, while he's contemplating, he might have been closed off in the, the 3D reality, but I'm also seeing the feminine very closed off, so it could be her energy as well. So the future position, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so the Six of Wands was in reverse 
for the feminine side. So this is coming in the future. So this is somebody, you know, the rock star, feeling encouraged. Um, so this is what he's moving towards is the celebration. And so you can definitely see that opening up for him. Okay, the mat or the feminine side. The king of fire, the eight of fire, and the ego or the devil. Okay, so king of fire could represent a, a fire sign or the masculine energy. Um, so the feminine came up across this very powerful um, fiery energy. This is somebody who's a leader, who takes control, who commands a space, who um, is also a free spirit and draws people into his life, right? People who want to help him change the world. So this is the energy that the feminine feels defeated against, is walking away from you know, feel like I, I can't do this anymore. I'm tired. And so we also see that kind of energy over here, right? Feeling defeated, feeling like this person is just too strong for me, right? So uh, the feminine withdrew. Now the eight of wands could represent communication, like texting by phone, by air. Um, this could be travel as well. Um, but this is a positive energy. It's Cupid's arrows. So I'm not really feeling that positive Cupid arrow type of energy coming from the feminine. But this, so this could be the masculine sending the energy to the feminine and the feminine ignoring, walking away from any type of communication, um, you know, to, to concentrate on herself. Now the future position we have the ego. And so, you know, this is the feminine um, having the ego taking over, right? It's um, self-limiting beliefs. You can see that. It is uh, karmic energy. It's an addiction, but it's a chain. So it is coming in the future. So the feminine is um, desiring to unchain herself, uh, to disconnect, but it's coming from an ego, you know, point of view, which is not good. And that's what I'm seeing here. You know, avoiding, ignoring um, is not a positive way to deal with your emotions. Okay, so the present position for the masculine, the Ten of Wands, nice, the Universe, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Ten of Wands coming in the past, we have the Nine progressing to the Ten. So this confirmation that that cycle ended, that basically he crossed the finish line and it took so much energy from him that he just collapsed in exhaustion. So again, more confirmation that the, this universe card is coming from the masculine side. So again, completion of the cycle, the universe um, is that acknowledgement from the universe that he's been through this major illumination, a major awakening, and that's why he feels so balanced. The future position, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is the same card over here, so it's positive movement forward, knowing you still have work to do, but the worst is over now. You've, you've done all the hard work. Um, this is building for the future. Okay, so the present position for the feminine, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So Ace of Pentacles, this is an offer, abundance, a windfall card. So there was an opportunity, it came in. And we got that Three of Pentacles up here in the, um, as an overall energy, it's showing up the feminine's present position. So that Ace of Pentacles grew to the Three of Pentacles and the Feminine is really working on continuing to grow it into the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, she feels, you know, this momentum building, right? She's focused on this foundation. She's focused on uh, growing abundance and stability in her life and she feels very um, successful in it. 
Now the future position we have the Page of Cups. So this is a message of love. This is feeling inspired, um, creative inspiration. Um, you know, this is the Muse. So it's a very sexual, very dynamic energy to be in. It's desiring to be with somebody and, and win their attention by, by again, using your creative talents, right? To, to sway somebody. So this could be communication, um, messages of love, or it could be just the feminine feeling really creative, especially with the Three of Pentacles beside that. And remember that the overall energy is using your talents um, to create abundance in your life. So uh, she's quite focused on the three, 3D three right now, which is good, okay? So what are we doing? Okay, well, new future for the masculine is a four of wands. Whoopsie daisy. You know what? I pulled that already. I kind of got these backwards, so let me just flip them. Okay. Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So Page of Pen or sorry, Page of Wands in the past position. Um, this is feeling inspired, having getting great news, great communication. Um, you know, very similar energy to the Ace of Wands in the, in the uh, as a crowning energy. There's this new start and being excited about it. So this is going on a new adventure. Um, it's making a decision to do that and so when you see the page of wands coupled with the four of wands you can see how much excitement and um, passion and you know just this beautiful energy surrounding this idea of coming into union now the five of wands in the present position is overcoming challenges and obstacles so somebody disagreeing with you so this could be the feminine, right? Turning away from the masculine uh, and then ultimately completely cutting the masculine out mentally. The Eight of Swords in the future, this is an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So this is somebody else making you feel this way. So you're desiring this new start. You're ready to commit, but it looks like there's a blockage here that needs to be released. Okay, so we'll go down to the foundation. Or no, we still haven't done the feminine. Okay, so we need a past card. It's king and a future. Wow, 11, 11 card. So we got a synchronicity here. The four of wands is very similar to this card. Um, so this is coming in our future. She, you know, if we go to the King of Cups in the past, this could represent a water sign, but this is a feminine um, feeling emotional or coming into contact with um, somebody who's very emotionally balanced, but turning away. So what I'm kind of feeling with this is, Yeah, like it's almost like somebody wants to make a connection with the feminine on emotional level and she's just not having it. She just doesn't trust. She's got so many negative thoughts swirling around in her head that she can't see it or she just doesn't want to have anything to do with it. So the future position, we have the 11-11 card, you know, so when you least expect it, that's when things happen, right? So, we, which is a really cool synchronicity, we have the 11-11 card and then the Two of Cups you know, both coming in the future. Okay, so we're moving down to the foundation. We'll come to these in a bit. Um, so one card from the masculine first, the Knight of Pentacles and Sacral Chakra in reverse. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles again shows that this masculine has been on a very long journey it's been one step at a time taking a little break getting back up keep on moving forward so very slow movement very calculated movement but um, you know since this is coming in the past he may have already arrived at his destination destination and I do feel that he does especially with the universe card there 
Uh, so good for you, major accomplishment. Now, the feminine has the sacral chakra reversed. So this is, talks about your, your emotional relationships, all of your connections that you have with people on an emotional level. Reverse is a major blockage. So we can see that for sure over and over that, you know, the devil is getting in the way. She's turning her back again, thoughts in her mind, the devil turning away. So this is coming from the past. Okay. Um, so it is definitely reflecting that feeling of completion felt on both sides. However, the feminine, um, is coming from the ego standpoint where the masculine is moving forward in a very balanced way. Okay, so let's move into the union here. For the feminine, she's bringing the Ace of Cups with the Seven of Wands in reverse. So the past position, the moon, and pres or the future is the Eight of Cups. So the moon is um, darkness, fears, things that are unknown, um, things that are left unsaid, the subconscious mind. So, we, you know, it, it makes sense, right? All of this darkness, not knowing what's happening, is causing her to lose hope or, or you know, lose confidence. And essentially what she's going to do is walk away even more so on an emotional level in the future. So this is somebody who's leaving eight cups behind, so it holds no value for her. Her anymore so you know I I'm, I feel there's that pivotal moment um, as a final outcome probably towards the end of the week where things drastically change I feel this is more of a present near future energy okay so masculine's bringing the nine of cups so the six of pentacles the Fool card and the Page of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles, past position, same card up here. So, you know, maybe the masculine's been trying to reach out, be more open in the 3D reality, um, sharing more of himself. Um, yeah, so, but then we have the Fool card um, in the present position. So this is somebody who's completely detached. They have no preconceived notions about the future. They're just ready to take a leap of faith. Um, and I love how this energy is facing towards the feminine. So um, in the present moment, he feels like his hopes and dreams have come true. He's feeling open and receptive, uh, which comes full circle again as a final outcome. Um, yeah, he's ready for a new beginning. The Page of Pentacles is somebody who sits down and plans for the future. And now, when this person has made a commitment um, to take on a task, they are fully committed. There's no stopping them. So the near future, we have them um, really putting work, you know, forth in order to solidify a long-term um, manifestation of the connection. Uh, this could also be, you know, new beginnings in 3D. It could be communication in 3D. It could be a new job. Um, traveling, you know, having to move to a different location, um, yeah, or even going back to school. But there's this new beginning on the horizon with commitment, um, very strong feeling of commitment from the masculine. Okay, so the crowning energy, one for the masculine, well, yin, and the feminine is strength. So the yin, the masculine, I mean, pretty strong, clear message. The masculine wants a new start with the feminine, the divine feminine. That's what he's working towards, you know, um, and just putting, you know, the past behind, letting all of it go, um, and moving forward, doing, pursuing things that are for your higher, you know, higher purpose very cool okay so the math or the feminine's bringing the strength card so um you know this is taming the beast within um taming that urge to to lash out um creating a calm loving environment 
you know, in order for people to share their their feelings, feel connectedness. So what I'm I'm feeling here is this coiling of the energy, controlling herself, and maybe that's why she keeps disconnecting. Um, so she, you know, they both want that Ace of Wands, that new start, uh, but the feminine is is struggling. Okay, so the heart we have the King of Swords. So one for the masculine, Six of Cups, and the feminine, Ten of Pentacles. Um, so the feminine wants to communicate, to talk about um, long-term commitment. Um, she sees this vision of the two of them together, um, you know, surrounded by family. Um, you've created this home space, right? Um, everyone's being looked after. So in the heart space, we have this disconnect emotionally. Um, communication, possibly, or making decision, mental clarity, coupled with the Ten of Pentacles, is, you know, what I'm feeling here is that she's really working towards long-term goal. The masculine has that in his sights as well, but the feminine is taking a disconnected route, even though there's the, they're both working towards the same goal. Um, she's really disconnecting herself emotionally. Uh, however, the masculine is bringing the six of cups. So this is reunion. He wants reunion. He wants an emotional connection. He's been thinking about um, reunion. He's been thinking about memories from the past. You know, he, there's a very um, innocent, uh, pure love that's coming from the masculine over and over and over again. Okay, so these two cards coupled together is telling me that, you know, he feels a lot of love and he wants to communicate or he's coming up across somebody who's putting off this King of Swords um, energy. All right, so is that all of them? No, it isn't. So the final come, uh, the feminine, Four of Wands, wow, Alchemist, and Destiny. So the Four of Wands, wow, 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 wow synchronicity right so the near future future was the 11 11 card the final outcome past is the 11 11 card um, triple synchronicity with the same card showing up in the past position over there so spiritual union felt on both sides coming in you know in the near future um, the Alchemist is a new start, comes after the Fool, so synchronicity, we got a progression. Um, now the, the Alchemist is focus, attention, control of the mind and your thoughts in order to manifest your reality. You know, so um, this is all about control. This is uh, the conscious mind. Right, so this is the higher self being activated here, uh, the crown chakra. So the feminine will have this illuminated moment with the spiritual union. I see a lot of 5D happening here um, and a lot of optimism and power uh, that is directed towards the future. Uh, now the destiny card is what goes around comes around. So this represents something coming full circle, coming to completion. Uh, so, you know, this is um, allowing destiny to bring to you what, you know, what was best for you, for your higher good. Um, and so it usually represents abundance, luck, turning in your favor. Um, so what I see here is this was all destined um, we also have a 1 here in Destiny's 10, so we have an 11, 11, 11, and to me the, this 2 spiritual union is the 11, 11, right? It's two souls coming together to, to form one. So 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11.
Okay, so the masculine heart chakra, queen of swords and lovers, heart chakra activation. Yeah, love, feeling it, um, feeling that deep bond. Okay, now the queen of swords. Again, this could be the feminine energy or it could be an air sign, but coming up across uh, somebody who is emotionally disconnected, um, the ice queen, but still being open, still um, giving of himself, his heart. Now, the lover's card in the future, you know, that's really speaking to the spiritual union, very similar energy coming together. Now, this is a major ar arcana. Um, so it's a, it holds a heavier energy, right? And so usually this is a longing card. It's longing for this connection. Um, so whether it manifests fully in his life remains to be seen because, you know, we got that queen of swords right in the middle there. Okay, so let me pull two final cards. I think I'm going to use Enchanted Map. So call it Baron Reed, Enchanted Map, and I, if I didn't say earlier, uh, this is call it Baron Reed, um, the Good Tarot is what I read earlier. Okay, for the masculine and the feminine. Okay, so. Wizard of Awareness, so the masculine, um, you're being asked to, to disconnect from reality, to be conscious of what's happening around you. Um, yeah, so I'll just read it to you. Okay. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside yourself, stepping into an observer position gives you a new perspective um, that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go. Experiences evolve from one state to another in a continually shifting and change no matter how much you want them to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to, de to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. Let it be. And watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. Okay, so again we're feeling this let go be aware um, you know don't take anything personally if you feel the feminine is turning her back on you disconnecting being a little childish um, you're you know be conscious of that don't allow it to, to cause you to close off do you know what I mean um, stay open okay and then the feminine is 49 the talisman A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you. For you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. So what I'm feeling here is you've learned your lessons, right? Don't recycle through the same stuff over and over again. Don't, um, you know, make the same mistakes. Um, and this also talks about abundance coming into your life, which is that destined card as well. Uh, yes, and you know, we got that 11-11 card, so don't lose hope is what I'm feeling with that, you know, you create your own reality. All right, so again, I hope this helped. Please like, share, subscribe, 
and comment. All right, cheers.